also we are in the car. We are on the way to the uh, Eagle Horn meeting. Uh, some people have been asking kind of what I do uh, for activism. Um, and I am here uh, going to the Eagle Horn meeting. And I will report back on what the meeting was about after because I have no idea. I, I read the email and, and I honestly, I can't remember what it was about. Um, there's a speaker. Maybe at some point in time they'll let me film, uh, you know, if I ask, if I can film um, the speaker. I don't know, but I'll report back on, on what the meeting was about. And we are in the car with Sonny Pazookas. And he is my trainer. So y'all have heard me talk about training and uh, Sonny, what kind of training do you do? Uh, I teach people how to reverse the cycle of distribution of violence. Meaning basically, if you get in your butt kicked, how to change the equation and kick theirs. Sounds good. Now, um, you're, you're also a YouTuber. You can say that. I have presence a little bit, yes. Yes, and... and your girlfriend, my friend Megan, is a YouTuber. Fiance. Fiance. Yes, I forgot Just about. Fix that. It, I will. <laughs> Your fiance is a YouTuber. Yes. All, all of us YouTubers. So we all have cameras, guns and cameras, right? Yeah. Gun, guns and cameras wherever there we. Are guns right here. <laughs> yeah. If you need to see it, in case. Yes. And that is my posse. That's who I hang out with, so don't come for me. I'll report back after the evil form uh, meeting. Preservation of traditional values. So uh, I told her we speak. I speak to a lot of traditionalists, a lot of uh, family-oriented, uh, a lot of homemakers, a lot of traditional homemakers. So the eel form started from Phyllis uh, Lassie, who was a homemaker herself, and she was in, she was interested in politics and and policy, and she decided to get involved. So there definitely is a push for traditional homemakers to get involved in. Yes, most definitely. They have a strong voice in um, you know, attending our meetings, and um, we cover a lot gamut of current issues and um, give action steps what um, we can take away and talk to the existing population in the U.S. market. And what, what I love about the Form is that it's not, it's not just um, stating I have this opinion. It's not just a march. It's not just uh, uh, like a like you, you know just not really doing much. Um, you actually talk to to representatives. You talk to the the people who actually make laws, the lobbyists. Correct. Correct. That is um, a, a very important piece of what we do is contacting our local reps, state reps, school boards. Um, I mean, it starts really at the very foundation of our um, city government. So, and then goes all the way up to our state reps and to the national reps. Right, and and you um, educate people with the the e reform report, uh, formerly known as the Phyllis Shockley report, on actual bills and policy. So that they can be more informed when they vote, and they know what candidates to vote for, and uh, I, I, I think it's great. It's a great way to actually get involved and, and take part in the real change instead of 
a women's march. Exactly, exactly. He's like a representative today for Mary to action. They came to talk to us, and her applause were this ominous veil that's going to be uh, presented next week with the March deadline, March 23rd deadline of the budget situation. So, for Gabe um, Scott, I want to contact our reps now and discuss this uh, funding and that for next week instead of uh, like we've been Exactly, definitely. Well, thank you for helping me. Thank you, Lacey. I so enjoyed it. Great to have you here. Hi. Okay, so I'm here with Jana of the Eagle Forum, and we were just talking about how uh, traditional homemakers do, usually don't feel like they can have any sort of impact on society, culture, or policy, and that the Eagle Forum actually bridges that gap. Uh, it started with, with a homemaker. So, uh, Jan, do you have anything encouraging to say about maybe homemakers of today, how they can come and impact on um, their nation? Absolutely. Just like Phil Schlepper had an impact in her generation, we are doing the same thing in our class now. I know. I know. I see here. Our uniform is looked to our religious leaders are our I would agree uh, that we're very much traditional conservatism and uh, we started out of um, trying to make sure that mothers are given their due. Being home, um, we do a lot. We do a lot with our families. We do probably more with our families. We raise uh, pretty good children when we're home with them. Uh, it's hard work and it should be admired and it should be respected and that's sort of where Eagle Forum started was a well, lot of mothers one, home one mother getting ticked off that that her country was going in the, yeah. in the wrong yes. way yes and i do think the um, economic downturn and a lot of the events of recent times has told our younger people that our values are good, that our values, our conservative values are solid, and there's good reason for them. They benefit our country, they benefit our children, and they benefit them. So the main issues that millennials have are security in their jobs, financial security, are their politicians. They care whether their politicians are good guys or not. They care whether they're corrupt or not. Um, and we've got a generation that's kind of ignored that, and our young people don't want to ignore that. And so we're really thankful. Sometimes bad events can turn into good things for your nation. Definitely. And, and it's a, it's, uh, the Eagle Forum is, is a way for people to get informed mm -hmm. and to 
get involved. Uh, it, it's not a women's march. It's not no. you know, the, the equivalent of a traditional women's march. It's, it's actual uh, policy um, change that, that the Eagle Forum is really, ta really taking part in. I, I find that we appeal to smart women who uh, want to be engaged, they they read, they follow issues, and they care about uh, how their life is affected by what's going on in our country. They, they don't want to turn a blind eye, uh, a lot of times because they have children who they know are going to inherit whatever we create. And so, um, so our members are active, uh, they're very involved, they know what they're talking about, and if they don't, they find out. So we're willing to look at both sides of issues. Uh, we don't come at something as you have to believe exactly this. We study it, we look at it, and we come out on the conservative side because it works and it's right. Our policies work. Exactly. Well, thank you for talking to me. Hey, I'm glad you're here. So I just got out of the Eagle Forum meeting and I uh, got a lot of food to take home with me. They uh, serve sandwiches and, and stuff. Maybe I'll bring a dessert next time. I think I should. Make it. It's hard. Maybe I should make a make a dessert next time. Uh, bring a pie or something uh, to to the Eagle Forum meeting. I think that would be a good idea. Also, uh, they not a lot back to report on. Um, they had uh, somebody from Heritage, Heritage Action come and speak uh, about fiscal responsibility and. Uh, gave out, a, it's a sister program to the Heritage Foundation, and also uh, Sentinel Nation is, is also associated with Heritage Action. Now, I can't endorse those uh, foundations or, or those programs, uh, those, those uh, because I, I don't know very much about them, but uh, from what I heard, uh, they are, they were, she was talking about uh, fiscal responsibility and fiscal conservatism, uh, cutting spending. Uh, so she talked against um, the Obamacare bailouts, and she talked against uh, internet sales tax. So, and that was a, just a couple of things that she talked about. But again, I'm, um, without going into more research on, on those, uh, those foundations, uh, I, I can't uh, endorse them, but I definitely do endorse Equal Forum. And hope you enjoyed this video and hope that uh, more traditional, traditionally conservative nationalist women um, will sign up and, and, and get involved. So um, as you can see, it's very, very fun. The ladies dress nicely, don't they, um, in the Eagle Forum. Definitely uh, our kind of people. So see you all later. Bye.